Hello again, it's Railway Russ here, and uh, in this video we're going to have a look at uh, Newcastle Junction. There's a BC Rail simulation in the Heritage series. Mechanical signalling, block instruments, and the lever frame sort of simulations. Right, this, uh, this Newcastle Junction, not actually at Newcastle, it's the Stoke-on-Trent junction which is still entrenched just to the left this was produced by uh, rob rotterdink i hope i pronounced that right rob and mike nixon who was uh, very familiar with the area and it was released on uh, 26th of april 2022 so early this year so timetable supplied with it is uh, based on a early 1950s so there's plenty of action and traffic on this on this simulation i've only had a, a quick run through just for an hour and a half and uh, it was quite uh, quite a demanding one if you've not played heritage ones before i would not recommend doing this one unless you're glutton for punishment like i am anyway let's uh, let's have a look at the layout again we're controlling two signal boxes newcastle junction and cliff vale and the numbering goes, I think, uh, Newcastle Junction's up to 88, and Cliff Vale's using the prefix 1, so lever number 1 in Cliff Vale is 101 on this simulation. Obviously, there's only about 500 yards between the boxes, so uh, it makes it interesting to cover the both locations. Let's look at the uh, <coughs> fringe boxes. We've got the Stoke north we're working to on this direction that's uh 558 yards away so it's not long at all you notice a lot of the stop signals have got distance signals underneath them because of the close distances we've got the branch down to market drayton and we're working to art arts hill on that line and we've got obviously between Newcastle Junction is about 500 yards and then we're working uh, south oh sorry north to Etruria yes this is this is north this way and this is about south this way roughly speaking right so uh, we've got quite a few block bells as you can see we've got the we've got a goods line the main line to Stoke the Etruria uh, main and goods and the branch to Art Sill. So we've got, uh, say, five different block bells. Now, unusually, uh, the up and down is obviously adjacent to each other, but sometimes you had separate goods up and down uh, on either side. This this time, we've got the down goods following the down main, and we've got the up goods following the up main. Um, we've got quite a few connections. Obviously, we've got the main branch points up to the market drayton they've got crossovers both ways so we can have trains coming from the down goods onto the down main and on the down main to the down goods got quite a complicated scissors um crossovers single slips onto the uh, up goods and into these sidings so we've got uh, we've got sidings vernon road wharf shelton coal wharf coming in We've got a through siding going that way. I've not seen anything booked on that. I'll cover the signals as I'm going through the simulation. We've got quite a busy, it looks like these cock shoot, cock shoot sidings. And we've got, this is called the new NJ, NJ1, NJ2, I think, they believe they called, which is a prefix for Newcastle Junction. On this side, we've got the, so these sidings carry through, CV, one and two, which is obviously Cliff Vale, uh, slip road into these sidings here. We've got Bull Siding, Bristol Gaslight Company. I presume that's a private siding. GLC two, General Electric Company is that? I'm not sure. Right. Oh, and I say we've got the carriage sidings. We've got two, three exits for that. We've got the Newcastle Junction side coming across here, and we've got two sidings coming out parallel to each other onto the Dan Goods. Now you notice the clearing point on the goods line is quite uh, quite short. This is to uh, simulate permissive block, which uh, PCRL uh, can't handle. 
as yet. We can't have more than one train in the section where it's permissive block. You can, but to uh, to get around this restriction and to simulate a bit more realistically, the clearing point is actually the first signal. Looking at the down goods, that signal is controlled from uh, Stoke North, a previous box. And coming the other way on the goods lines, you see the clearing point is literally just past that signal. On the main lines, a bit more restrictive. We've got the clearing points covering beyond the uh, home signals. Obviously, it's clear of the junction, so that doesn't really tie anything up. Coming the other way, again, it's just beyond that signal, so it doesn't affect this crossover. Coming from Market Drayton, we've got... Uh, We've got our distant and home, and then it's just up to that point there. Right, I'll uh, set the simulation going and see how we go. There's some quite uh, unusual distant signal moves and things on this one. Again, I'll always advise, have a look through the local information. There's a bit about the history, uh, covering it down, a bit all on the speeds lengths of trains you can get in and all sorts mainly this is for if you're creating your own timetable as well this is useful um, so yeah always have a look through that we've got the usual locking details as well that's again they quite comprehensive do we need to caution trains or not it tells you in there and then we've got the timetable notes so we'll let's get it started um, and i'll try and talk through the signal as I go through it um, on the main lines because the signal boxes are quite close together it, I usually what they call the old regulation 4 uh, oh, yes, I think it was regulation 4e that's basically you offer the train forward as soon as you receive is line clear from the box in rear this will allow you to clear all your signals then when you get train intersection it can uh, you can see the distance we've got time the distance already off but if we wait for train intersection then offer it forward like you do on, on a lot of the other simulations uh, then that would um, it, the train would be already past the distance signal so like for example the passenger 1A12 up main to up main that's going to come down there we, we would offer that on as soon as we received it now skill level i'm actually going to go down to level four or even lower and i would recommend you doing that to start with keep it quite slow to get used to the layout and the signaling and then once you become more familiar with the layout etc just just increase it to real time right so we've got to is likely i've set these to uh, menu instead of uh, clicking on the bells so uh, it's easy to show you so i can accept that there's nothing on the layout all the lines set for this one now there is some uh, there's a lot of ground signals or dummies or shunting signals or disc signals whatever you want to call them i usually call them dummies for some reason it's probably a local dialect thing now obviously to clear the signal uh, 150 which will be for this main line we can't clear 150 until we've set the route from the uh, fixed stop signal to the next stop signal so all these running line uh, shunting signals need to be uh, set first so it's quite uh, quite a few of them there as you can see there's a triple one there so it's top left bottom right so we need 148, 147 and 146. Obviously they're all together in the frame. You'll have to scroll about on this frame a little bit on the bottom. It's quite a long frame for that one. So uh, that, you could leave those uh, shunty signals off all the time until you need, need them, of course, to shunt into these sirens. So it's quite a slow train these good lines are only 20 miles an hour and obviously stokes quite close to this end of the layout so you'll see trains breaking as they're passing us really and uh, 
slowing down and then coming the other way they're accelerating from the station so we'll look at this one we've got the, the one on the up main which is actually due at five minutes past i think the evaluation version starts at midnight and covers about two hours or an hour and a half i think uh, at hours there's quite a lot of trains in the first hour as you can see you know it's not even on the on the second screen there so yes there's a lot of trains so right we've got this one train intersection and it's going straight through so we go into the stoke goods and offer this one on light engine that's not oh and the bell single's been interjected by this class one now that is on the up main so uh, we can clear the signals i'm going to offer this one on the up main first now i'm not because he's already breaking okay so let's clear let's see if we can get the signals right so we've got 150 145 is to go onto the up main of course it's parallel to it then we need signal seven uh, 77 and 78 white stripe on there indicates lock by uh, or release by line clear should I say 72 signal to go into the through siding the bracket 74 73 looks a bit deceptive 73 is coming out the through siding 74 is backing on backing from the through the up goods there's quite a lot of movements in and out here as you'll you'll see later on oh it's already here so we better get this main line one offered so i'm offering the class one and we'll get these signals off because it'll be, it'll be here very shortly so we've got to one two seven off so what do we need there five oh, oh no two first and then five and the training section already and then we can clear one which is the distance underneath it now one is actually although i've pl uh, pulled the lever number one the signal's not gone off so that is also slotted from the next box along as far as i'm aware i've just cleared it now see it's just in time right this freight's uh, slowly going past us so i can put 150 back and i send out a section on the goods for that got class four on the down main do say all the default positions are all set for through and we've got one from derby road newcastle junction up oh, goods derby road is that's derby road that line the new roads that line so it'll be coming out of here just going straight on the goods <coughs> nice and straightforward i'm going to leave these uh these dummy dummy shunt signals off until i need them it's just easy to wait through trains so remember if you put one two seven back which is cliff fail signal one will also go back as well but if you leave it off obviously when you put the uh, stop signal back the distance signal's got to go back as well because it's it's slotted so remember to put the distance back as well the train intersection on the main line two can go back this one's uh, going past us now on the goods so seven can go back and train intersection on the goods oh click the wrong bell there we go that's better right so that's the first two trains merrily on the way So you need you need you need to set that skill level even probably lower than uh, four when you've got four trains at once it uh, gets quite uh, quite busy obviously right that's a class four offered on the down down main from stoke so i can accept that get to these signals back five 77 and it's gone past 78 again i'm going to uh, offer that class four on straight away he's only doing two minutes so walk down to the other end of the box 
and use the uh, main. Oh, I know I have not done. I'm not a sent out section for that. <coughs> Passenger, I'll do that now, and then I'll offer him the uh, class four. Should have really offered the normally. Oh, sorry, normally signalmen offer the train first if there is one, and then send out a section. That's the one on the goods. Right, let's see if we can get these paint line signals off. That's that section as well, the main. Uh, let's have a look. So I would say that's 57. Uh, one. Oh, we've got, we have got train into section. I must have moved the bell. One, one, two, three. Just click on that for a minute. So you have to bear with me on this one. Uh, the distance signal, one, two, two. And we've got our distance signal as well. Uh, well, Newcastle Junction signal. 59, he's just gone off and he's just come back because Stoke North put the start back. But So I'm going to put that distance back so I don't forget it. What was the one here? 9P10. Right. Now, if you're not quite sure which line it's coming out of, once it comes to a stand, it'll tell you what signal is it at. Is stopped at held at 86 so we can see 86 there so let's uh, get the point set for that one and give him the signal start him moving and while he's coming out I can offer that on the goods which is the class 9 so it's a stout goods is line clear or class 9 so 77 and 78 just remember to uh, Keep an eye, say the white again is not track circuited, so we don't know exactly where he is until he's coming out on the main line. Oh, I just told you it was a busy uh, simulation. I'm just going to put 16 back. I'll try and explain what that is. It's basically a, a trap or a catch point. I think traps are facing, so it's got to be a catch point. I think it's to save anything running back derailing here rather than crashing into another train coming off this junction so let's accept this class 9 what does he do Dar down goods to Derby Road CV well Derby Road CV is so we can run him down the goods stop it behind these shunting signals 121 or 105 crossing right across the main line and into here the other way of doing it is of course Crossing on from the down goods onto the down main and reversing at 119. Why would you do that? I suppose if you've got something behind it on the goods, you could move him across. And the other way around as well. If he's going from the down main into these signings, you could move him onto the down goods. Oops, I better get this uh, drain intersection for that one. This will be there. Oh, let's. Distant back, 57 back, and out of section on the main. Main intersection received on the stout goods. Another light engine. That's this one. Now he's also going into the uh, Derby Road CV. Oh. The one's come out the uh, side is now, so I can send train into section to uh, the Stoke. Put it to six back. We're we'll about to get to left these signals off. One seven three. You notice there's distance signals under one, two, three, and one seven three. These distances are obviously worked by the next box, which is a Truria. Trained into section on the Stoke Main. Right, at well, least not going through. So uh, I suppose we better uh, caution this. Although there's a distance signal underneath that. So we might not need to caution that. But... Oh, cocky. There's no way I'm going to get my breakfast here, is there? 77. Right, so let me accept that, and then I accept 
acknowledge, should I say, outer section. So what we've got, we've got up main, class three is going to come through at quite a speed. Can we offer this one on? Yes. So I'm going to offer that one on, class three. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got these coming to a stand. There's a lot to, uh, <laughs> there's a lot to think about on this one. Now you can see why I said it's uh, recommended to start with another one. I am chatting as well. I would be concentrating normally, but obviously I'm trying to demonstrate it. So, uh, right, there is this class three. We've, let's get the signals off. One, five, zero, uh, seven. No, not seven. No, it's not one, five, zero. I'm on the main line. Sorry. Oh dear. Look at this, got all this happening. Uh, anyway, it's all good fun, they say. It's supposed to be an entertainment. <laughs> number two, and of course, number five, the distance signal one. Right. What's this one? What's just come in? We'll have to wait. Train intersection. I think I'm going to slow it down even more. So, uh, damn, got this elder signal 54. Oh, it's just uh, started to move now. Right, we've got another light engine coming in. Outer section on the goods. Doesn't matter what it is, just acknowledge it. Obviously, it's the previous train. Ah, oh, we've got one at 57 as well, so I can bring that one down. Now then, they both seem to be wanting to go into the same locations. The down one is booked at 16, so we'll put that one in first. I want to clear 53 as well. And, uh, oh, well, 50 is not but a distant. 49 will be for coming across onto down main. Right, we've got this one coming through. I'll go back to this one in a bit. 87. Light engine to Vernon Road Wharf. All oh, right, so that's got to come out here, cross there, we're we'll behind 12, and then into there. Oh, we've not got to get him across for a while. Right, I've got another one. Class 9. I believe it does slow down eventually. It's not bad for midnight. It's only 12 minutes, and we've had all these trains. Hmm, it'd be best to get that one out, actually. Anyway, let me have a look what's happening. Keep that one moving. We've got to... Uh, I'm going to put one back. I know a bit, please forgive me. Just trying to concentrate on these. Train into section on the main. Fifty-four can go back and we can send out a section on the goods. We're dropping both these light engines down together. Have we sent out a section on the main? No. There's no reminders uh, if you forget to send out a section, I don't think. No, it'll just lock this section up until you realise what you've done here, just not offer you another train. So five. Right, I'm going to try and get this light engine across. So, 87. So what do we need? I'm going to use the diagram for this. 87. 77, I'm going to tell that one to shunt two behind 74. And then I can whip him across, hopefully. Right. So that one's clear of the up main. We've got these signals to put back these two light engines. So that's 53. We've got 57. I can send out a section on the main for that one, for this light engine. <coughs> right, so this one on the man down main is breaking. Both a minute late. So I must have done the probably caution too much. Right, that's the one on the goods. 
Now then, if you look at the notes for 9P20, it stops at signal 145 from 15 minutes past midnight to 22. So this is signal 145, and there is a, a cliff fail stop there. So he actually stops at that location. So that's not going to cause any problems with this shunt I'm doing up here. I'm going to clear one, two, three, one of six. Again, I'm using the diagram. And then I'm going to tell these light engines. Oh, that's actually class nine. I'm going to attempt to shunt to one, two, one. And I'm going to tell that one to shunt to one, one, nine. At a section received from Stoke. Right, this is this uh, loco coming out. Got to try and get him across behind 12. This is currently occupied. So uh, there's not a shunt signal to go from the down main back across there. So I don't think that's a valid move. Or a signal move. Right, now we've got that good, so he's just coming in there, look, 9P20, he's going to stop. And then eventually goes into these sidings, new road, cliff fail, which is this one. So you could actually, I think, move that one in there at the same time you've got one coming in there. I'm going to put these, uh, these running line shot signals back. Right, let's have a look, one, two, three is there. Uh, you know, really, really you can see why there's two signals involved here. He stopped to 74, he stopped there. Can I do one at a time? So, let me see if we can use the frame. So, we need 36 to unlock this. Uh, let me put time compression off in case that's uh, working against me. 36 unlock, 35, 36. Now, then. Can we go 29? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. 28, I know I can't. Now, this is flank protected again with this with this junction, so we need 16 to protect the move, and I think we need 31 and 30. Levers locked, perhaps 24 even. That's another flank protection. Try 30 now. Yes, 31 and 28. Right. No, I don't need. I don't need twenty-eight. I don't want him going up. No, I want him coming across there. So that's eighteen. Move seventeen plus over and relock. Yeah, I think that's okay. Now he might need twenty-seven off. Here, yeah, let's try it. Seventy-four. Oh, now that's okay. So he's going back across there. So we need one of six. Not a danger. Oh, of course. Still got this train moving down there. Right, so I can't do anything till he's gone past. Why is he stuck? Oh, he's only just started to move, that's why. Let's get these, uh, let's see if we can work out this to come across here. 109. I've got 116. Uh, 120. No, I don't need one, two, so it's the main line. So it should be 118. So you will get used to these eventually. Let's see if I can clear 119. No, so I'll probably need 111 first. Yes. Righty. Uh, this is taking some time on the up goods. Oh, of course, I need. Uh, 107 clearing, don't I? Shunt 2. Oh, I'm looking at a different one, I think. I'm looking at that one, aren't I? Yes, quite easy to get mixed up on this one. So, yeah, that's not, that's a class 9, of course, not a light engine. I've been seeing I've got two light engines going down there. Apologies for that. I can't clear 27 while 106 is off. So I'm waiting for this freight train to draw forward. So where's this light engine gone from there? Down main. Oh, 
it's just lit the circuit there right so it's just going across down there how that signal 27 yes that's this one so I put 24 back right finally it's clear so I can put 106 back and then I should be able to get <laughs> just another one I'll come back to that one 27 right at least let me get the right one yeah right click shunt to 12 there right what was that one what's just come on Derby Road North Junction into Cox so he's just coming out there and going back in again so that should be straightforward I'm sorry to use the diagram there's a lot of movements in and out here there was another sort of ground frame signal box to operate these so I'm going to click shunt to signal 74 you can actually use the through siding for shunting as well but it will disappear un unless you use the shunt to command on that so just be aware of that one right that one gone inside I presume so I'm using the the diagram where is that one two one yeah that's this one coming across here that's the one stood there oh, it must be oh that's the one coming out of the side oh the light engine must have gone right so let's uh in these, let me just check 903 is going into Derby Road CB so I'll clear the signal again though so that one should do it yes oh, just check the block every now and again we've got a lot of train on lines for that one he's due at 22 and he goes again into these sidings oh into the new road one which is which is this one so it could actually come across there well it needs to come across there it can't come across there so it won't be able to get in there so I need one three four for that and we've got no facing point on that one facing point lock probably because it's a goods line right tell me what we're doing up here so I'm just using the Right, so I'm in need to go back into the signing, so we have to put these 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 back. I'm going to put uh, 29 back as well, uh, 30 and 24. I'll relock these points, 16 I need now. Right, so I need these points, 39. Let me just check, light engine, Vernon Road. Wharf, the route's all nicely set, so I can claim the signals. 12 and 38. Right, meanwhile this one's... And he's going into, into the siding, so let's just click on 81 points and clear 74. I hope I haven't put you off so far. It just seems to be uh, all at once, you know, you start a new simulation, you're not quite familiar with the layout, and there's ding, 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 trains all over the place. The only thing you can do is just slow it down with skill level and just work it out one step at a time. Right, so we've got the freight backing into there, we've got the light engine going into there, and we've got this shunt move going down here meanwhile we've got that one there uh, well there's no reason why I can't set the road for that one so let's see oops oh yeah top dummy left 
top dummy for that one. And I think this should be 149. Yes, yeah, the shunting arm. Let's try that. He can then uh, depart whenever he wants. This one's all gone inside. Now I'm going to put these points back in case I get anything else offered. Uh, one, one, six. Hey, what was that? Plus eight. Oh, that's just straightforward onto the on through the down goods. Obviously, I can accept it with claim points here, but I have got this move going into this, into that, into the side, into the wharf, Benham Road Wharf. So hopefully that will be inside clear. Time to get these trains up here. But if you look, it's only going at ten miles an hour, so uh, it's not rushing about. So there's no need for us to rush about. That's going into Cock Shoot. So I think I can put the signals back for that. 74. 75. I think it's clear of the points. Yep. On my first run, I did have to, when I got a train coming out these side ins, I did have to select no because I wanted something to go into them first. So you might have to do that uh, on that location, right? Has he gone inside the wharf? Yeah, he's showing it in there. So we can put 12 back and 38. And the point's 39. And we've got entry. Train intersection. So what was that? 80. 3-2, new road. So we've got another one coming out of there and going on the up goods. So I'm going to use the diagram. Again, if you're not quite sure which side it's coming from, it will tell you when it's stopped. Now we've got this one on the down goods. He'll be here very shortly. I'm going to offer that one on. Class 8. Still got that one on the up good, so he's due for another, not due for another minute. So let's uh, clear these signals. Everything's all set. Yep. Right. So it's 54, uh, 50, 106, 107, and 177. Quite an unusual in sequence there no distant signals on that oh i know what i've done can you see what my <clears throat> see my mistake what i made on purpose i've left 53 now if you try and clear 53 you can't because the next signals are clear. so you've got to put them all back i'm using the diagram to get 53 of course we can't clear 177 again because we've lost his line clear so all we need to do in them, in that circumstance, is cancel the train. Three five, and then re-offer, which is this eight class eight. They have missed the signal there. So now it's fifty. 106 again if you if you're running this a few times keep at it you get used to the sequence of that even looking at it right so that's better now this good strain started to move now what did we have here all right signal 87 so i'm going to clear 87 try not to use the diagram try to use my dusters on the lever and 77 it's going on the goods, so we can just offer that one on. Down goods. Misleading, it's that one. That's the one coming in. So let's offer this one on the up goods. Class 8, I believe. Click on 78. We could put 54 back. And we can send out a section for that goods on the down. The train on the down goods. As soon as we've done that, we've got another one offered straight away. 
can always accept it if we've sent out a section of course now this is 9k00 if you notice it's crossing over from the downwards to the down main so that'll be over this crossover 13 and he's actually stopped him at stoke goods Yes, be sure it should be clearing his signals. There he goes. So I'm going to put 53 back and 50. Right, has this one coming out of the yard yet? AT32. Has he slipped away and not noticed? I think in that case I better send it in into a section now. Oh no, he's not come. Well, where is this one? Right, we better get to entering section sent for that one. That's on the damn goods. I'm going to put one fire four nine back and send out a section. And that was going in there. Oh, here he is. I did it a bit too early. I thought it sneaked away without me noticing, but there he goes. Now I can send an intersection. Right, we can clear. Let's get this crossover 13 over. And I can offer this one on what's approaching. So this is going, where did I say, 9, 9k00 onto the down main. So let's click on the main line. <laughs> oh, good God. Okay, I think we can have that one. Uh, right. He's likely for class 9. On the main. Let's see how we can signal this one across. So we've got uh, 54, 53, 49 in this case. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to route him all the way through. And 1, 7, 3. And the distant. I'm not sure what number this one is. Is it 1, 2, 2? Yes, I think it is. It applies for both. This is selected either that one or that one. Obviously, it's not cleared because uh, we're waiting. Here it is slotted from the box in advance. And uh, then I've sent train intersection on the dangles. Yes. Easy to forget. 106 can go back and 107. Right. So he's on his way there. This is as good. Oh yeah, look, it's just cleared the the distance signals now. So they're all. He's got inner, outer, and intermediate distance with the looks of it. Unless it's from the next box ahead of him. It's quite a complicated. Uh... Right, one seven seven can go back. Right. So what's this one doing? The Derby Road is going into the sidings again. So. I can bring this one out. So it's L to 86. Oh, I've still got 87 off. I'm going to use the diagram. 86, 77, and shunt to 74. Again, another one of these little shunt those. Light engine's been offered on the up main. Right, these uh, still got these signals off for this move, so I'm going to put these points and these signals back for through running. So, what we got on the up main 25 hours do shortly, so we'll offer that one on straight away. It is likely for light engine, and we might as well clear the signals 127. Two, five. Oh, yes, I've not I've got this crossover still across. All right, that's uh, easily fixed. And then the distance signal is one. So it's uh, slotted there, so it won't go until the box is cleared ahead. Right, this one from the down goes to the down main is now passing, so let's get the signals back and send out a section for that one. Right, 
the upgoods is occupied by a train going away. It shouldn't be too long, they say these are quite close. Then, there we go. Then that's the shunting move coming out, which is going into these side ends. So what we've got, four trains on the layout. section on the goods entry section on the main that's for this light engine we've remember we offered that on and cleared that throughout we can send train entry section on the main for this class 9 which is crossed over and we can put these signals back 49 uh, and 13 They set the main line after a move. I forgot to do it there, you see. I left 35 across, and then when I wanted to clear 5, if I declared 6, the passage had probably gone up the up goods. One, two, three can go back. I've got one, two, two. Oh, of course, I've got the distant off still. That's why I won't go back. And then we've got this light engine coming through. It's braking already. So I'm going to put one back. My distant. Well, Newcastle. Junction distant 127. And that's the section for that. That's on the main. Right, this front move, we know it's going in the side ends. Something else they say, it's a busy, <coughs> busy line that. So what else is coming out? This one, another one for the side ends. Right, anyway, back to 173. Oh, goods. Yeah, just checking the block. Engine section for the slight engine. And we could put two and five back. Right, let's see where we are. So we've got that one going into the sidings. We've got one waiting at 86, and he also wants to go in the sidings. We've got one wanting to come out there as well. I think that might be the one I, I refused earlier, but we'll see how it goes. back That's a section on the on the down main let's uh, see if we can get that one out. right so I'm going to clear that clear 77 and I'm going to click on shunt to 74 now if it does offer me this one from the side ends I need to refuse it unless I, I use the uh, through signing for shunting and that's out of section right so we've just got these two shunt moves on the layout at the moment now it's 28 minutes past and have a look at the train register and see how many trains we've had one two three four five six seven on the up one two three four five six that's not bad for 28 minutes well 
Well, let's have a look what we've got next. Class 2 passenger. So that's a, oh, it's a crab. Manchester London Road to Stafford on the up main. So everything's all set for the up main. So basically with passengers, you accept the passenger and then you offer it on to the next box. They could do a little neck for these shunty bows. Well, I suppose the up goods, uh, well, I'd say it's not that busy, it can be at times. They're just coming out. A little bit of a respite. I think I'll put the uh, signal box virtual kettle on. Oh, I've got a minute. Ah, nice cup of tea. It's not railways run on. It lasts long. Right, this, this is class two. Told you about on the <clears throat> up main. I'm going to offer that one on. And I'm going to clear the signals for that one. One, two, seven, two, and five. We know that sequence now. And the distant one, which we'll clear later. 44 miles an hour. So it's not due past at 32. So say you've only got two minutes. Right, he's stopped. I'm going to use the diagram. Sorry about that. So he's now going into the sidings. So off we can go. So there's one coming out of the sidings. Into New Road. Junction. Um, siding again. So he's basically coming out and going into that one. No wonder there's a separate signal box there. Distance is now cleared. The next box would do the same thing as me, would accept the train and then offer it on probably straight away. Probably Stoke, if there's a Stoke North, I presume there's a Stoke South. On each end of the station. Entering section for the passenger from Aturia. So maybe coming through again, it'd probably be slowing down for the station. I don't think there's many trains went through Stoke. Perhaps is, I'm not sure. It's always exceptions on on railways. Right, so he's gone into the sidings, I think. 74 back if you try and put the points back too early say for example 81 and it's still on the points it will uh, it will tell you although it's not track circuited um it stops you pulling the points it uh, won't do the train much good if you pull them from underneath uh, with them on top of them right this one's uh it's gone past 127 as well. Starting to break for station. That section we could can be sent now. Right, so that's that other. She's going to tell us something about it. You see, so he's going into there, so it's, I'm going to clear the signals for that one straight away. And time to shunt to 74. Two can go back. And entering section sent to Stoke. I 
think we've got one using the junction at one time. There we are. Yes, passenger coming off there. At 59 onto the up main, so he comes across here, basically on on this line. I might just do about an hour on the demo, really, because uh, I'm aware of these videos longer than films and not as interesting perhaps <laughs> anyway let's have a look where are we we've got this class let's put five back got a shunt coming out the up good onto the up goods it should be light areas just lit up on that one looks a bit odd but the green track circuit covers the lights for it is there that's for the this one another one wants to come out right well we'll have to weigh it he's going on the down goods oh derby road cv oh this is this way thinking it's coming out of this end all the time onto the down goods right so he comes out of here all the way across. Oh, crikey, that's going to... Let's get some levers moved and let's set the route for that. So, 109, 116. I've cut the bell off there, just out of section. I'm leaving time compression off. Right, that seems straightforward. Uh, do we have to clear these signals first? Let's have a look. Damn it, right. So, that's... Right. Oh yeah. One one three. And of course we can't clear one one seven till we'd offer this on, so we'll offer that plus nine on the goods. And once accepted one seven seven. Right, that one's done. I've never really checked to see if there's anything to do on the main line, but you know, surely it wouldn't come out the uh, yard if it was gonna cause a conflict, but of course probably would and uh, if if you're brave enough to uh, put late running on as well that will certainly happen right so you stopped at 74 let's put these signals back 88 and 77 and he's now going into new road which is that one it's just easy to click on the points to make sure 74 should take him into that if you route him in the wrong side in, it's not in the world it just message will come up and says uh, train incorrectly routed or routed incorrectly something like that right, he's coming out the uh, out the yard so let's have a look what the next one is up goods to derby road cb Ah, he's another one who stops at this signal 145. They had to keep an eye on that because if you signalled it all the way through, there might be something else to come out first. So, yeah, we just accept that one and then he waits at that signal. Right, so he's dropping back. He's down, going down there so I could send entrance section on the down goods. A long train now, 24. So it's occupying all this. As you see, this covers covers every line, blocks everything coming in and out there. There's nothing to stop you accepting a train on the on the up, of course. The clearing point is uh, just before it, so it's it's okay. Right, I'm going to put these signals back. Let me do what I'm doing first easy to get distracted I'm going to put these points back so I'm using the diagram right what's this well I said I can just accept that and he's, he's booked to stop there right what's happening here he's gone in there so 74 can go back alright so he's, he's a light engine stops there then goes into derby road cv which is this location 
Not tried routing across there into there, but I presume it's uh, possible to do. Right, so that's straightforward. We've just got one of the down goods that's going away from us, just uh, still on that circuit. And we've got this one, this light engine coming on the up goods, and it's booked to stop there. Just cleared that circuit so 177 can go back. Right, another shunt. It's too busy in these sidings. New road. Here we go. Into cock shoot. So, new road should be this route here. So, let's clear the signals. Shunt to 74. Notice there's some spring points mentioned there. Uh, obviously, it doesn't matter if you've got a train uh, coming from the dam main onto the branch. We've just run through those points. They just spring either way, or you could have a train from the dam goods on this slight link, and that will also go on the spring points. So anything on the dam goods. The only way on the branches to go across there. We've got a trap and catch point there. Perhaps there must be perhaps it's the gradient. I would assume the gradient might be the reason there's 34, otherwise I can understand 22, but 34 must be protects trains coming down this way. Engine section, that's for this light engine. It's coming out. Right, class three at this period of time was a ECS. It was changed, I think, 1972 to uh, class five. So they've got a carriage siding, train coming out the carriage sidings wanting to go on the up main. Right, so let's have a look. There's the carriage siding, so we need uh, at least we need 19. Uh, of course, we've got this conflict in move here, I so I think 80 won't go back unless I've got 24 as well, for some reason. Yeah, that's flank protection of 30. Oh. section why can't I clear 30 oh, I know why I've not got 16 back I need to protect it from that side there we go right so we can now get to 28 and 29 right let's uh, let's start him moving this is stopped at 20 I'm going to offer that one on the up main so that's class 3 And clear the signal five there. Now what's happening there? Oh, he's he's going into these signs again. So I'm going to click on the the diagram. It's just easier. And back into signs. So this one, this is this light engine on the up goods. He's up there now. Obviously, can't send that section to this. Gone past that. Clearing point, we've got, uh, so he's due to stop there till 4 5. Probably quite easy to forget about those if you're not careful, but I will wait a few more minutes in case any other movements are using this this layout here. This ECS is now coming out. There he goes. And that's going back into the sidings. And there's another one comes out. Up shoot in two minutes and goes on the up goods. Up shoot yard to stow yard, so that's just a, a short, uh, what they used to call trip, trip workings. 
and these to be called T's as well. Destination 9004. I can put 20 back and probably the points 19. And entering section to Stoke. The empty coach in stock. 74 can go back. I'm going to leave all these points set up because we've got one due any minute. As soon as that one's inside, no doubt this 904 will uh, beep up as well. So 5 can go back and we can put all this junction back. 28, 29. Um, see if let me put 30 back first I think then 24 I'm going to pull 16 as well now and then lock with 31 right so that's the one is ready to come out on the good so I'm going to give them the signal 88 off of the train on the goods that's nine Seventy seven and seventy-eight. Seventy-eight is has been added, if you look through the notes, has been added because uh, PC Rail simulations need a section signal, although five's a section signal, I think there's some special rules for that. So there are, there are some signals uh, which have been added. So this simulation works okay. I've not got 31 locked. I didn't, uh, sorry, I didn't put that off. Out of section. That was for the uh, ECS on the main. 40. Is there anything else I need down? No, I don't think so. So I can set the route for that one. Derby Road at Cliff Vale. So I'm going to run him up the main and then straight in. So let's have a look what we need. Uh, 148, 147, 111, and 149. Yeah, he can depart. To, he's got another five minutes yet. Right, he's coming out the uh, out the sidings now. Let's have a hole oh, that's an intersection one now while he's hit that circuit. I'll put eighty eight back. So let's look at the next move, down main to down main. That's five bands. So that's straight through. All the points are set. All the locks are set. And we've got another shunt move from the sidings to Derby Road again. Down main to down goods. Next, so he, he goes across this crossover. 17 and to down goods there's no other way he can't this has not got a, a slip to go across it's all for trailing moves this connection is well facing moves coming out of the yard of course Right, he is merrily on his way, so 77 can go back. Is that T? They were doing that T earlier, weren't it? Uh, but I've left it mashing again. Oh, go. 
strong and horrible. Seventy eight. That's there. So the next one coming out of there is shunting back in, so we can leave all that set. Right, we've got a class five offered and we've also got this question from the yard. I click on yes, accept the class five. Now this one's going into the uh, Derby Road again, so I can clear the signals. I can click on shunt to forget about that a bit. He's breaking, right. Well, he's doing two minutes, so and he's pulled off for him. So let's get this one offered on the main class five and signals. Remember not to miss any this time. Fifty-seven. Uh, one, two, three, and one, seven, three. And that's entering section for it. Probably missed the distant fifty-nine. One, two, two. There. Oh, just managed to get the distant. That's out of section on the goods. Previous train. One, two, two. I have pulled one, two, two. But again, as if I remember, if you remember, it is slotted by the uh, the box in advance as well. It's just cleared now. That's when he's cleared his signals and all these. This signals off, you have to remember to put 59 back, otherwise you won't be able to put 57 back. I know it's cleared the distance because he's put his, uh, his starter or section signal back. It's only it's not coming. It's actually just accelerating from the station, so it's it's not uh, thundering towards us. This one's due away from me in two minutes, and this one's going into the. Have I done that right? Yes. I oh, know it's coming out. Sorry. Getting mixed up. So put eighty six back. Put that one back, and he's ready to come back. As soon as he stops, seventy seven can go back, and I can clear seventy four. As soon as he stopped, there we go. Ah, have I done it? Mm, I think I've done that wrong. Derby Road. I put him in the new road. Oh well. This, you know, you'll be able to see. I've I've done that specially on purpose, of course, so you can see what uh, what happens if he's wrong route it. Right. Let's have a look. So one, two, two. Can go back. 57 out of section on the main yes I think I've yeah I've rooted that uh, in the wrong side in right what's that we've had a class 9 offered on the down main, so I can accept that. He went on to the goods, so better get this oh, centering section over for that one. No, it's that one. That's better. Right, so he's crossing over, if you remember. So I'll put this crossover across, which is, uh, which one is it? 17. And lock it again with 18. Set 
54 can go back. Remember that's gone on the wrong wrong location, so it will uh, Right, train intersection for that one already. So this has been this is crossing over. There we go. Look, train nine C two zero routed incorrectly. Right, anyway, I've got these one, two, three still one seven three. I'm going to offer this one on the goods, which is going on the down main. That's class nine. So let's see what we need this time. We need 56. 106. Let's cut the bell off there. 107 and 177. Just out of section on the main. Oh, can we clear the distance? Number 60. No. Right. Okay, 60. Try 59 now. 59 is obviously the main. I would say 60 is for the market Drayton line. We could check that, of course, looking at the locking information. Scroll down to 60. Down, Mr. down main distance for the down market Drayton mark yes so there's no distance for the movement we're making across this crossover right where ah this one's on this on the move So we can put uh, 1419 back and send that section for that one. This is plus nine approaching us to cross over. Presumably, it's a 20 miles per hour speed restriction on that crossover or less let's have a look what other delights we've got coming ahead new road oh that's one straight out there onto the up goods and two minutes later we've got one coming out of the derby road one on the up goods as well two minute margin quite tight see if we can uh, accomplish that so that is all set just check new road yeah that's all set again it looks a bit odd the track circuit's lit up on there but it is the brown area there as well right so this is this class eight from New Road, so I'm going to get this one on his way. 87, while he's on 77, offer us on the goods lines, class 8. And the section signal, 56 can go back. We can send out a section on the main. Yes, 50 miles an hour, so nice and steady. It's starting, we'll have this other one buzzing any time now as well. We've got another boob here, Vernon Road Wharf, which is up here. He's going down to Derby Road CV, this end, so he comes down here. He could either go down the down goods and cross over. Or on the damn main, it's I suppose it's advisable to use the goods lines. You don't want him stood there while you've got a fast one passenger coming towards you. 
Right. Finally can send it to section for that. I'm going to put this crossover back again. Just so all the points and things are set. All the points set for the main line. One oh six can go back. That's the trouble when when you scroll, you look at where the lever is, and then you scroll, and it's it's gone to the left or the right. It's just a large lever frame, of course. Not fit it all on the screen. One oh seven. Go back. Train intersection on the goods. 87 can go back and then we can set the road for this the Derby Road one so that's 82 points right engine down main to carriage side in CV1 so that comes down here now to get to the carriage sidings you can't get from the down main you need to cross over to the down goods and then back into CB1 right 177's can now go back it's clear of that 77 can go back It's actually come out quite early, that one. And this is the class nine. Right, I can actually signal that down to 77, at least while I'm waiting for that one. So let's get him rolling, 86. Right, 78 can now go back. He's breaking. I'm even going to clear 77. It should really caution him, but he's coming, he's coming out slow anyway, so I don't think I need to, to slow him down anymore. So as soon as we get out of section on the up goods, we can then offer this class 9 and clear the section signal, 78. So we've got one of the down goods going away from us, one of the up goods going away from us, and this class nine is coming out of the sidings. Then in a few minutes we'll have this this move from here going down onto Derby Road C V. Yeah, I'll send him uh, down the goods. I'll put sixteen across. So I only need those back when I'm uh, using this junction. 39 can be set ready. There we go. 39. There he is. So uh, I can clear the signals for that. So let's have a look what we need. 40. Yeah, I'm not sure whether you'd have to caution him or not, but we'll, we'll try and get away with it. 50. No. I'm down there. Right, I've got these uh, running line dinner still set from the previous move. So I'll reset that. That's our section on the goods. This one's now coming up to this signal. So, yes, the class nine's the one I've got here. Waiting for our section for that. Put 86 back, ready. And that's what I'm waiting for. After section, is line clear for class 9. Pull the signal first, and then enter a section. Uh, if you don't pull the signal first, of course, this is a classic mistake here. You see some signals do when they've come out of training score. 
the centre train intersection. The signalman would go across the line, the uh, train online. The, you go to clear the signal and it won't clear because it's train online. You've lost your release from the line clear. So if that happens, you'd have to cancel and re-offer. So it's clear the section signal first and then enter in section. Where signalmen used to do that quite a lot um, on busy lines, they did used to offer the train on and you'd give entry in section straight away. What the signalman would know is not clear this signal. So he would uh, give a line clear, acknowledge train entry section, and wait a few 30 seconds or so so we could clear the signal then you would peg up peg up line clear uh, chain on line right 77 can go back I'll leave those points he's coming out of here drawing down here he is on the it's going to go across here, so I can't move anything there yet. Fifty can go back, and this one's breaking, so it's gone past seventy-eight already. Last two at 59. So that's going to be a bit tight getting that one across. All right, this stuff on the main, look at this, there's stuff on the main lines every few minutes. So uh, it must have been uh, quite a nightmare get one of six cleared, which must have stand. It must have been quite a nightmare trying to. Get stuff out of these yards when it was a busy, busy line. Signaling that to uh, decide whether they got a suitable margin or not. And that comes with experience. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on shunt two on that. One two one. Then I can clear 107 then because he knows to stop behind that we've got 39 still across so that ought to go back right so we've got down main to carry sidings so he needs to go across oops that's out of section on the goods oh it's a market trading sorry i'm looking at the wrong class two oh he comes off this line so We've got no problems with that. It's not going to affect this shunt at all. Oh, we've got a light engine as well. Oh, that's interesting. He's on the down main. Mind you, he doesn't drive at all one. That's the time he arrives in the carriage silence. So we can get the points ready for that one. We need to cross over 17 there I need to put 16 back because I've got this one due to come across him at some time right let's have a look he's all stopped up here now 106 107 now he's breaking and he's going in Derby Road CBN so I can get all these points set I'm going to use the diagram it's easier uh, just going to stand. We'll see if which signals. See, I'll try one two one first, but I think you might need the signal ahead. Let's try it. No, I was right. So you need one 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 first, then one two one. Not sure why that is. Probably to stop. Probably so you've got the route set all the way through. If you had that one at danger, and as particularly if it's a long train, of course. He would stop there and foul everything up, foul all this line up. So they want you to prove that the signal into the yard is cleared first to prevent that happening. That's uh, my explanation anyway.
Right, yes, we'll get that one off the uh, off the market Drayton line. Just hope this light engine's gone past first, but if not, uh, I can always put this. I've not cleared the signals for it, so I can always reset the route. Right, this one's coming across. That's the intersection of the light engine. Not sure if you need to caution that again or not. Coming across there, you know, due to the line speed. There's no distance signals. To go across that crossover, you're going main line, you've got the distant 59. Ah, right, that one's uh, nearly across. Put one, two, one back. Put these points back as well. 120 and 116, yeah. And then the signal can go back. And we're even going to put the points back as well. Now it's all set for them on the main line now. Uh, so we're just waiting for this light engine, it's just coming braking now. Came down to about 10 and then clear 56. There we go. Oh, that's a bell we've not heard before. So that's his uh, art sale offering is this class two, which I can accept. We've got the clearing point there, so it doesn't affect any points except the uh, connection into the carriage sidings. And he's cleared his starter already. So it's not going to be too long. I'm going to have actually offer that on already. Um, even though... I don't need to yet. Class two. So I want to get these points and signals set as soon as this one's cleared. Right, 56 can go back and I can send out a section for that. We have got a distant as well coming off the branch. So if we can clear four and five. Get three. All right, let's see if we can set these sidings. I've got to do this uh, blank protection first, haven't we? So it's 24, 30, and 29, and 28 there, and then relock with 31. Doesn't affect that crossover, so right, we can clear the signals. Let's get four, five, and distance three. Yeah, this uh, when this ends as entering section now, we've got everything coming across. I'm going to put that crossover back, and he's breaking for 106, so I can clear that. I'm going to tell him to shunt right click, shunt to one to one. And you come back into the sidings. 
think we can get away with 107 as well. Right, so that's the one signal from Market Drayton across onto the up main. We've got another one on the down main, not long after him really, only five minutes margin. That's a class three on a parcels, just going straight through. We can accept it, of course, we're not fouling anything. Doesn't go across any points at all, that one though. And then we've got one of the down goods. Again, that will need to go through all this one. One of the up main, two up main, and again another one on the down goods and down main. So quite a lot of action there. And it's like this all the way through. Of course, the main passengers usually start at what seven, six, seven, eight o'clock time. So you've got all these extra passengers coming through as well. So uh, that's be quite interesting to work through there. Yep. Yes, quite a, that goes all the way through to uh, one minute to midnight. Damn me to cock shoot. Took me yard to cock shoot yard. That's a, it's a bit of a shunt down me. He's got to cross over there, then go on the old goods and finally get in. Hmm. Anyway, back to where we was. I'm neglecting this uh, light engine. Uh, 102, I think the point is. Uh, 105, is it? Yep. Oh, he's showing it breaking. Ah, right, that's a lovely bell, that one is. Train intersection, oh, it's already there, look. As soon as it gives you train intersection, so it's no good waiting. Uh, to get training section then offer that one on or clear the signal is gone past the distance which we can put back right so that one's setting back in carriage sidings this class two is coming across the junction Or signal back and then it's now on that circuit can send train intersection once all that's cleared unless I need to use that junction again uh, there's nothing using it for quite a while I'll put everything back I can go back uh, it's gone inside one of five can go back right let's see if we can this they can go back uh, 31 24 relock yeah that's that's all set 16 can go back well you pull no you don't you don't put it back you pull the 16 to uh, release for the main well for the main goods running the goods line running Right, so that's now disappeared in in the side. I'm going to put one or two back, and then just waiting for outer section for that one. I'm going to put seventy five back as well, just so that's uh, all my. Up and down goods and mains are set for through running. Which most of the trains are, of course. Right, that's out of section for that. I'm going to stop it there. Uh, I know I've only run through an hour, but there's quite a lot of trains we've signalled already. So hopefully, if you enjoy this simulation, 
uh, try download it of course free of charge i think you can run through the bit i've just just tried uh, hopefully well, i've still got 100 percent punctuality although i tend to ignore that but i've not done too bad this is the second time i've run it i always run it once at least before i do a video so i don't look uh, silly <laughs> if you know what i mean anyway hope you've enjoyed that video hope you've learned something now if you have please give me a, a thumbs up uh, please subscribe to the channel and also i'd love to read any comments you want to send uh, if there's anything you particularly want me to cover or any simulation you want to cover just just drop me a comment anyway i'll leave it there for now and again thanks for watching and we'll see you again another time cheers for now